My name is Richard Kingsley. I never believed in ghosts until my strange experience one night at 3.29 in the morning in the shower. Ever since then, I've been trying to capture what I once experienced in my shower that night. Single-handedly, I go to all these different places, usually with someone, to try to capture my dream. What you're about to see is 100% real, and all research can be traced back to Wikipedia. I'm Richard Kingsley, and welcome to Ghost Man. Welcome to the underworld. All right, hi, Richard Kingsley, and this is wait, shit, what's it called? Ghost Man. All right, hi, I'm Richard Kingsley, and welcome to another episode of Ghost Man. In this episode, we'll be investigating one of probably the most haunted RV in like the world that you will ever view, because it is. I've done my research as usual, and. My research shows that Satan himself has spawned in that RV. So, you're like not gonna like wanna watch this if you're like faint of heart, so. This is the Dutchman RV where a lot of reports of paranormal activity have been reported and no one has set foot in this RV for over 12 years because of the paranormal activity. And this is th where things get real, my friends. Dutchman Sport. This is the website that Satan used to buy this RV. This tube right here, Satan actually crapped that pipe. So Satan's excrement, we're standing on Satan's excrement. I can feel the hell hell aroma of Satan's waste. You sure I don't know if I'm getting paid enough for this seriously. Really? You gotta be like that? I mean this is like really hard. We're at Satan's RV. You're gonna you're not yeah, getting paid that's, enough. Okay, that's the point. It doesn't get much it doesn't get more real than this. Like this is this is the RV of the person or whatever Satan is that like is like the enemy of God. <laughs> Richard? Lights. Richard, do you really think the uh, Satan really lives here? I don't think so. He did. This I was getting to that actually. I don't think this it's haunted. Light that Part of the ghost man crew and you don't I was getting to that the evidence then you'll believe that it's haunted light defines um as you can see people have not been in this area for like over a decade I mean like these cheez -Its expired 1999 not bad it shows you that paranormal activity is around these Cheez-Its for making them still not spoiled after 12 years. Citrus scent hand wipes. Clearly, human activity has not been around this area. These are good. Has not been around an area, this area, in a long time. Alright, let's, uh, let's go look in the RV. You can get a whiff of that paranormal stench. You know something, that's when you know something's in here. All right, today, as usual, I have a guest with me to prove that I'm not the only one. And my guest with me today is Mr. Eugene Benson. Thank you, Richard. Um, yes, well, Richard talks about this trailer being extremely haunted. Which it is. I've done my research. 
I which mean, it is. Plenty of sources. Main, such as me. Such as, and Wikipedia. And this trailer in uh, around 1901, how Satan himself shot up from hell. In this RV, like, there's a portal. So we haven't explored the entire thing, but there's a portal probably, like, in one of these drawers that, like, like leads directly to hell. And that Satan came out of that. Yeah. It's actually theorized in many, many, many interviews about this place because it's very famous. And this portal to hell is known as the hole to hell. The hole to hell is in this RV that we're sitting in. And we are taking maximum precautions. Come on, ghosty. Satan, are you here? You know, Richard may not know, but my years of experience in the field of paranormal activity, um, I'm, I'm experienced with finding the hole, the portal, which on many locations happens. And the trick to finding it is your nose. Once you smell the hole, there's only one smell. Of a hole. I mean, at any location that is haunted, you may never know the stench until it hits you. I trust you completely, Eugene. Not I, I think it smells something in the microwave. Dude, you're on to something. Dude. Duct tape in the microwave. microwave. Duct tape in the microwave. That's demonic. That's activity. like if you look in the Bible, like you see, you see, you see Satan, and automatically an e like equal sign duct tape. Dude, we gotta do some praying now. Get together. Oh God, please don't let Satan ravish us with, with the duct tape. We know the duct tape is a sign of the devil. Oh God, he's here. <laughs> um, we still gotta find the hole. Some more this Mountain Dew here. Probably Satan. Ooh, finish it. That Mountain Dew's probably been there for 15, 20 years. Yeah. Still good. What does that tell you? This place is most definitely haunted. Great value spoons. You know who uses great value? Satan. Richard, one thing I've noticed is um, this location has a strange thing going on with the radio. You turn it on and you hear satanic callings. No, dude. No. Wait, wait, let me go to channel 666. <sighs> what is that, dude? Dude! I know. Dude! Satan! He's in here, dude! Wait, 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 Richard! He's here. Dude, you're freaking me out! Richard. He's coming through me. He's not, dude! Dude, you're freaking me out now, man! <laughs> okay, Eugene. Now I know you've probably done your research, but this bedroom is like where Satan, like his parents, met. Like they conceived Satan himself in this room back in 1901. It's clearly seen here. Satan's phone was abandoned. It's been charging probably since around 1901. the exit. Exit to the world. Satan, he was conceived using this blanket. This is the so blanket. So we can use this blanket as a trigger. Yeah, we probably just throw this in the fire and like his fume should like arise. Alright, sounds like a plan. This blanket, alright, what is this? This is 
These are pants. These are the pants that Satan was wearing. And now, Eugene will proceed to start the fire to summon the devil himself. That's a pretty uh, strong fire. This leaf right here is actually taken from Jerusalem. <laughs> from the from the bottom of the like untouched that plate Jesus bed. That plate that was found in the path that Moses spread the that body of water, whatever. Uh, I haven't done research on it, so I don't remember what the body of water. The Red Sea. When Moses spread the Red Sea, that guy one of the guys crossing it picked mm -hmm. up a plate. He handed this to the devil. Himself. Who brought it here in 1901. The local lore behind this plate, besides that Moses had it and gave it to the devil, because they were once friends. This is like known facts on Wikipedia. And what happened in the lore is that the devil ate off this plate and it was stolen. He was actually cut from the he was actually cut from the Last Supper scene. Like when they're all eating dinner with like Jesus, the devil was in it eating off that plate. So, bottom line, this is really gonna piss off the devil. Like this is like ten million years of like anger about to come through. About to like set on fire. And we have ignition. Dude, this is gonna piss off the devil a lot, Eugene. I don't know yeah. if I don't know if this is such a good idea. Dude, yeah, but I, I just hope you're just ready for the activity. Dude, I can like I can feel you I can smell this? Yeah. I could smell oh, the Oh you smell the rotting flesh? I smell the I smell the Satan the Satan juice. I, f I smell it. That's you smell that smoke you smell that smoke smell? That's like the smell of Satan's like Oh my god. Hole. Like that opening up in the, the portal. I smell it. I, I, I smell, smell the, the smoky smell. That's that's what it says in Wikipedia. It says when you smell a smoky smell. Dude, these are perfect conditions for Satan's coming, dude. He's gonna be pretty pissed, dude. Dude, this is I'll, this might be going too far. This is ripping off most commonly known as Oh my god. It was knocked down. You know the only, only thing that could knock it down, dude. Oh. Satan natives. 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 Oh my god, it's the hood running. I'm smelling. Get that whip. Coming in the way. Nostrils. He's, he's all, he's, he's penetrating my lungs right now, dude. Dude, I might retire after this. Uh, Eugene! Dude! Oh, what the hell was that, dude? Oh, my God, Richard. Richard. Oh, my Richard. Oh, my God. Richard. Oh, my God. Richard. Dude, he's ravishing my lungs, dude. <laughs> Richard, calm down now. Can't. Please. Richard, we're professional. Richard, take it back. Take it down enough. Richard, it's okay. It's all right. Please. Richard, no. Richard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Silence makes the demons come alive. <laughs>